I guess it's time to uh, get this dry pour footing started. Just kidding. <laughs> dry pour footing, guys. It's the new hotness. That's what we got to do now. Definitely no water if you want to put any structural concrete in the ground, you know. Don't, don't do that. First, let me get these unloaded. <laughs> all right, I'm all washed up. Bags are done. So far, I have all of this here. I'm actually packing up, heading on my way home. I didn't bring my tripod, so I couldn't record myself doing a lot of this stuff. But that trash can, <laughs> rain catchment, has been a lifesaver. I've, I basically had that thing full because we've had some serious rain come through here recently. And I just about emptied it um, on that one stretch there. So however many gallons that is, I think it's 30 gallon or something for about 16 feet, about 25 bags. <laughs> the math works out that I pretty much about emptied that trash can, which means either I need to bring more water to the farm or I'm gonna have to wait until more rain fills it up and then I can continue. Doing these footers piece by piece, it's kind of a pain. This is what you do when you don't have water. I don't have a big IBC tote. I don't have a trailer that can carry two tons of water. So I'm just gonna have to do it piece by piece. Uh, today is yet another day. Uh, we've had some rain, so we have water again. I can continue this whole process of uh, laying these footers down. We have the back of the of the shed has been poured, and now I'm going to start putting footers down for one of the other sides. Let's get started. In the meantime. We're full. So I did want to mention one thing. The screen that I put down over the hole, the uh, caulking that I put, it just, it didn't hold. So what I ended up doing was just taking a heavy rock and putting it over the hole with the screen. So the rock holds the screen down, the screen keeps the bugs out. Everybody's happy, but unfortunately the uh, silicone that I had put down, it just didn't hold. I think something must have rattled it, maybe the extreme temperatures, it just didn't have enough to grip onto. In hindsight, I think if I use a little bit of sandpaper to rough up the plastic that is very smooth on the lid of these trash cans, it might have held that silicone a little bit better. But unfortunately, I didn't do that. But that's okay. This clearly, as you can see, has been working just fine. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing some concrete and actually I need to put um, the reinforcement pins down that are going to be my vertical uh, rebar for the uh, masonry block. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick and then when I'm done, I'll show you what it looks like. not liking this but we'll see uh, actually this might be okay let's scoop this guy out just a little bit I'll tell you what I'm doing in just a second what I've done here uh, you really can't see can you okay so what I've done here is I've positioned this block vertically to align with my square lines now that that block is in position, I know exactly where I need to put my vertical rebar. Now, this might be overkill. There's plenty of guys out there who can just, you know, lick their thumb and stick it in the air and they know exactly where it goes. I'm not a mason, so this is my way of really just double checking my work. 
So now I can put it exactly in the center and I know at least my corner pieces are going to line up where they need to. Now I admit these pieces of rebar, they don't seem to be sticking up out of the ground very far. Uh, but keep in mind, we're on the high side now. On the low side, they're sticking up considerably, maybe 19, 20 inches or so. But my goal is to have this vertical rebar come up just into the top block, the top run. And then that way it's gonna tie in the whole vertical column. Uh, as best as it can and it's still going to leave me some headroom so that I can stick in the J hooks so that I can then you know do the whole thing tie in the the bottom sill and all that kind of stuff but whew, we are so far from that all right <laughs> I'm gonna get back to this I'll see you guys in a little bit mm -hmm. 